Hard work and sensible decision making go a long way when property developing. And don't be afraid to get stuck in yourself. A bit of elbow grease never hurts anyone and it'll save you money too. Yeah. So let's find out what the buyers on today's show went for. Now, often, this is the bit of the show where I tell you that the place I'm in is ideal for commuting. But the difference here is that this is where it's happening, right here in Barrow in Furness. The town centre is a mile or so away, so there's loads of amenities nearby and also the waterfronts being regenerated. So this area should reap the rewards. Now, this is the property I'm here to see, a two-bed terrace with a guide price of £30,000 plus. Let's go look. Inside, straight into the reception room. This works pretty well in terms of proportion and size. Um, nice feature fireplace. Well, it's quite 80s. It might not be everyone's cup of tea or you might want to keep it. Often in terraced houses, the ceilings are low. It feels quite pokey. Here, the ceilings are high. Good sense of space. Let's see what else there is. Now, this door strikes me, well, the doorway strikes me as a lot smaller than the other doors and there's no need for it. Okay, so this is a partition wall and you can actually see almost, yeah, you can, where the staircase is. So solids have to keep, open up. Yeah, and then all of a sudden, just be bigger and you could almost make a feature off that staircase, have it in the middle of two rooms, why not? And then, Actually, as I'm thinking about it, lots of fireplaces, what I've not spotted, is any central heating. You do have double glazing, no central heating. And then through to your little galley kitchen. Now it is out the way, a solid, you'd need a structural engineer to advise you, but why not open this up? Too often we talk about opening everything up. Not, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but here, it would really, really work. New kitchen needed, that one's dated. If you opened this up and you got a doorway bigger, suddenly you'd have a really lovely, modern, open plan house. I like this house, I really do. I just think it could be a wee bit better with a bit of a revamp. Shake it up, yeah, shake it up. So upstairs and to the front of the house, you have a good sized double bedroom. Do not like the look of the damp in the roof though. It looks pretty worrying because water's definitely come down. You can see the dampness spreading down the wall. There are a couple of cracks that need further investigation. So at the back of the house, actually this room's even bigger. It's a really good sized double bedroom. And again, nice high ceilings. Through to, well, I'm guessing because we've not got to it yet, Yep, it's the bathroom. It's a decent size, but it means that whoever's in this house, whether it's your neighbour who's popped in for a cup of tea or your kids, they've got to walk through your bedroom to get to the only bathroom in the house. If you did want to change the layout, especially if you're selling on and you want it to be attractive to lots of people, you would think about reconfiguring the stairs. So changing the stairs to end this way rather than that way, and then creating a corridor so that everyone can access this bathroom without coming through the bedroom. Yeah. This is a good terraced house with great proportions and it wouldn't take much to turn the place round. I do worry about that roof, it needs investigation, and then that bathroom wouldn't work for a family. Let's find out who was up for the challenge when it went under the hammer. We'll do it. I can't wait to see the results here. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Kevin. Thank Thanks, you. Tony. Thank you very much. I love that Kevin sees this as his forever home and he knows exactly the journey he needs to go on to transform it into his dream home. My only concern is if that roof will destroy his budget. Let's hope not. You can find out what happens later in the show.